what do professional speakers do with our free time? And if you thought the answer was eat bonbons, not so fast. Would you believe we do at least 10 other major activities through the course of our days, weeks, months, and years? I don't have time to do a deep dive on all 10, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the 10, and then I'll put a link to my blog in the description of the video, and you can go over to the blog for a deeper dive on a few of the 10. Okay, so other than the obvious, which is stepping on stage and delivering the speech, we, one, prepare our speeches. We then have to, two, practice our speeches. We create promotional materials to get noticed and get booked. We network and we do research for leads to speaking gigs. Then number five is we have to reach out, right? We have to reach out to these leads and develop relationships with them. Then we've got to continue to follow up and nurture our leads and relationships. Once we get booked, and this is number seven, we hold content and logistical meetings with the event host and the meeting planner. Number eight is we do post-speech follow-up where we debrief about how our last engagement went and then we work to nurture these relationships so our first engagement is not our last engagement with that company. Number nine is we are continually honing our craft. We're learning how to write better speeches, how to deliver better speeches and be amazing on stage. And then number 10, last but not least, is we act as the leader and visionary for our company so we stay relevant, so we continue to drive our business forward and continue to serve our clients at the highest level so we can make the biggest impact in the lives of others. Whew, I'm tired. That list made me tired. I'm doing a lot. I think I need a bonbon.